I am still doing the subscriber giveaway for $100 of V-Bucks. All you guys have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and then click the link in the description. But more importantly, on Friday at 7 p.m. Central, I am doing a $100 V-Buck giveaway. Friday, 7 p.m. Central, that exact time, I will be uploading a special, special YouTube video. The first person to comment on that video that drops a like on it will win $100 of V-Bucks. The very first person. So make sure you guys subscribe with the notifications on to be the first one there. I am so, so close to 350,000 subs. I'm trying to hit this this weekend. So if you guys could do me a favor, sub to the channel and enjoy the video, boys. Hey, guys. What's going on, Bigfoot here? Bring you guys another video. Today, what I got for you guys is my complete guide for the week four battle pass challenges now i've made a couple of videos previously on these that i've kind of went over each thing individually but in today's video or in this video i am going to go over every single challenge uh and kind of give you direct tips on what you're going to need to do uh, in some of these, I don't have footage of it, but I'm going to verbally explain to you because I feel like some of them you don't really need help with, like visually, if that makes sense. So some of them you do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys do, make sure you smash the like. Like I said, if you guys haven't yet, make sure make sure you guys are subscribed. I am very, very close to 350,000 subs. I really want to hit that very, very soon. Uh, so if you guys could go ahead and drop a sub. That would be absolutely awesome, but let's just jump right into these challenges. So the first one is to deal 500 damage with sniper rifles. Now for this one, I don't really think there's like a necessary tip that I need to give you other than I guess learn bullet drop. I feel like most people probably know it by now, uh, but for some people sniping is still pretty difficult. I mean, I consider myself a pretty good sniper, but I'm not like absolutely amazing at it. Um, but I think this is one of the ones that I can't really do anything to show you you know how to do better if that makes sense it's kind of just one of the things you get while playing the game the second one is to search seven chests in flush factory now i'm actually going to show you a visual of exactly the three chests that you should target and exactly where you should land right now search seven chests in flush factory and as you can see here there is a lot and a lot of people going there every single time i myself consider myself a pretty good fortnite player and i'm not sure how this video is going to do i'm not sure how many of you guys are going to you know need help with this but i went here multiple games and i'm still not done i actually just finished earlier um i found a tip to this where you can get two chests maybe three guaranteed almost every single game there's going to be a ton of people here like literally every time i went here there's like between 20 to like 50 people no lie so uh watch this spot where i go hopefully this helps you guys out uh so as you'll see chest spot number one is right there where i just looked behind the crates um and as i come over around this corner in the bed of the truck and in the actual crate there's one right there and then also in the actual crate right back behind that is three chests remember the three chests you're going to be targeting now let me show you what it's like to drop there and how you're going to do it these are like three hidden chests in flush factory everyone seems to go to the middle and it is just a big battle you see tons of people die and you hear tons of people die and and no one ever really spawns over here. Like I said, I finished this in just a couple of games because nobody goes here. So what you're going to do is you're going to instant land on the truck. Nobody does that. You can go to the crate if it's there and then head up to the left where the other stuff is. As you see people landing all over ahead of me and behind me and stuff like that. But they don't actually go for the crates. So as you'll see in results, I get, you know, basically could have had three free chests. But I think there was only one here on the spawn. But on to the third one, which is searching supply drops. Now, I actually found out that the llama supply drops count for this as well and the tips for this the best way to find them which i made a video on as well you guys can find that earlier if you want to find the llamas but basically you want to play the outside of the circle by the edge of the circle that's where you're going to find the most supply drops and that's where you're going to find the most llamas so if that's what you're going for if that's the one you're doing that's the best way to do it i guess another really good tip i can give you there is just live long in the game a lot of them chess comes at the end of the game or the supply drops come at the very end of the game and if you haven't like you know got if you're not getting a lot it's probably because you're dying a lot early so try to live late into the game try to play the outer edge of the circle and you will find yourself a lot of supply drops and you can maybe do this even in one game as for the fourth one it is search five ice cream trucks now there's a lot of these on the map i'm just going to name you uh, a quick couple i guess what am i trying to say a quick couple locations uh there's one in retail row there's one at tilted towers there's one in pleasant park there's one on top of the hill uh by salty springs there's one at flush factory there's one at tomato town there's one at motel basically there's one at a lot of spots and when you go up to it uh it'll have like this big glowy like gold thing that comes out of it and that basically means hey you know you got another step in your challenge it's pretty simple um but for a lot of people you know it's one of the things you've seen the ice cream trucks but you've never really i guess 
you know, gone to them like specifically or like remember where they are. That's kind of how it was for me. So I had to do a little research for that one as well. One thing I do want to give a quick mention about, which I probably should have said earlier in the video, uh, but all of these challenges, you have to finish out the game. I see a lot of people that will do these challenges, like land on an ice cream truck, get the challenge and then instantly leave the game and it doesn't count. And they're like, what the hell? Like what happened? You have to actually at least like kill yourself in the game or you know play the game out for it to actually count if you leave early at any point um it just it just doesn't generally count for you so make sure that's something you're doing make sure you're playing the games out obviously you don't want to have all your progress just taken away from you for nothing so keep that in mind as for number five it is another search uh one where you kind of find like the little gold star thing search between a vehicle tower rock sculpture and circle of hedges this is actually the hardest one that i think they've released so far it took me a while to actually find this uh but it's over by Moy Meyer and I will show you the clip of exactly where it's at right now. On to the sixth one, which I think should be pretty, pretty easy for most of you guys, is a trap elimination. Some of you guys probably don't use traps much. I myself don't really use traps much, but a couple tips I can give you. Uh, one, Tilted is insanely good for traps. If you go in Tilted Towers, place it at the bottom of a staircase or something like that, it normally will get you a kill. Uh, the other thing is you might want to do this in solos because it is, it is trap em eliminations. So I don't know why I can't say elimination. It's trap eliminations. So if you get a knock with it, it doesn't count. You want to get an elimination so definitely play solos for this challenge um but overall i think this one should be pretty pretty simple for you guys so there's one more left which i'm going to show you in just a second um but i want to say thank you guys so much for watching the video i really do appreciate all the support lately the views on the channel have been rising and rising and the subs every day and the likes on all the videos and the positive comments you guys give me like seriously Thank you so much. Um, I'm back to YouTube. I'm back to uploading videos every day. Shit, I've uploaded like six or seven today. Um, I, I, I'm feeling this. I'm really enjoying doing it. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope it's helping you out. Um, and seriously, man, just 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 be loyal, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to build a loyal subscriber base here that's that's at the uploads every day at 7 p.m. Central that, that's saying, you know, Fultz, you're the fucking man. You know what I mean? I want to build an audience of that. Like, I crave that. So if you guys are watching this and you guys enjoy the videos and you guys fuck with me as a person, and let me know it dude because i fucking love you guys dude i appreciate every single one of you guys watching every video or every stream or tweet or whatever every single like every single comment every single reply on twitter everything i appreciate every little thing so thank you guys seriously so much if you're still watching the video at this moment put a real talk in the chat because i just gave you guys a little bit of real talk or in the comments i don't know why i said chat sorry i'm used to streaming um but the final one is elite three or eliminate three opponents in tomato town which i am going to show you that right now